Houston. And Houston looking for his get by five. They were down by as many as 15. Oh, that was a great move. He caught McGrady there. And, he, and as McGrady stumbled, Allen took it right up in his face. Yeah. And it's tipped away. And the Knicks are going to wind up with it. Springwell for three. He's got it. There you go. There and the Knicks go. trail by two. And right now the Toronto Raptors are playing just like the Knicks did in the first quarter. Well, the Knicks always play in spurts. They're rising to the occasion. And they're accepting what has to be done. They're, they're bringing Houston to the post. 11-point lead. Christie into the game. And he's guarding Allen Houston. And Houston driving in baseline with a layup. Allen Houston with only his second field goal of the game. He posts up and they go into it. The double team is coming. He can see it. And when you turn to the baseline, you're going away from the double team. Sprewell coming right back. Now with nine points in the game. You said early. It's easy. It's great to get into the penalty. But once you get into the penalty, the pressure is on you to make the foul shots. Here is Sprewell open for three. It's a three-point game. 73 to 70. The Knicks are coming. And you can sense it here at the Garden with 5.42 to go. I was rolling and spotting up is going to be open. Carter now on Sprewell. 10 on the shot clock. Sprewell pulls up and hits. Yeah, he's two doing. big ones for Latrell Sprewell. The Knicks have come within one. Remember, they were down by 15 at one point, by 16 at one point. And now it's a one-point game as we wind down to four minutes to go. Yeah. So that stretches out the defense. Now, the last possession, they gave you a lot of misdirection motion, and they came back to the other side of the floor. They're yep. bringing Sprewell to the ball. Clear out. Runner on Sprewell with uh, yep. 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. Sprewell with a fall away. He's got it. And the Knicks take the one-point lead, and the Raptors will call a timeout with 7.9 seconds to go. And the Raptors are in a position to win the game now, but they find themselves trailing. Latrell Sprewell with a big second half. He has 25 points and 13 in the fourth quarter. Now, see, there's the explosion. No one ran at him to double-team him. They're saying, Vince, you play him head up. The reason for that is they've been consciously trying to cut down the Knicks' three-point shooting, and they have done that. But what happens now is when your guy, you're riding a guy who is hot and he's been very productive throughout this quarter. Alright, Latrell, so different than game one when you guys had the 19 point lead. You had to claw your way back. Just talk about the fourth quarter and your guys poised down the stretch. Well, they played really good defense on us for the most part all night tonight. So, you know, we couldn't get anything going in the fourth quarter, though. LJ got on the roll, and he's the guy that got us back into it. And once he fouled out, Jeff would look to me to get some points for us, and I'm just fortunate enough to get some baskets to go for us. On the game winner, were you surprised they didn't come with the double? Yeah, well, I thought they were double, but usually when you double, you're leaving somebody open. We got a lot of good shooters on this team. You made a great shot that was contested. Congratulations on going up two games to none. Thank you. Dick Cuby. All right, for Hubie Brown, D-Lineham, Dick Stockton saying so long. The final score again, the Knicks 84, the Raptors 83. The Knicks now lead two games to none. Coming up next, game two, the Timberwolves at the Blazers from Portland. And right now, let's send it out to Kevin Harlan.